Okay, people. I don't know what YouTube is doing now. <laughs> Seriously, man. Alright. It's still the same day. This is my third video of the day, people. Only because. Alright. Only because something is happening here, which I'm going to show you in a second. I don't get it. Maybe you can explain it to me. Okay. I'm in the classic, the classic studio. Here's the mandatory MRI, opened up new message board, includes copyright content, 26 views, 13 comments, 4 thumbs up, 2 thumbs down. Okay. Went off, did whatever, did whatever, I came back in. Look at it now, people. I'm at 27 views. This is the classic studio, mandatory MRI, opened up new message board, 27 views, zero thumbs up, two thumbs down. Do you see that? Okay, we're going to go up in here. If I do it through their new beta, here it is, mandatory MRI, open up new. You see, here you don't even get the full title. This is why I don't like this, because I prefer having the whole title, plus their fonts are lighter, which are harder for me to see. Here you can see it's public. It says copyright claim, but you can't access it, so I don't know even where they've got it listed right like I don't know where they have it listed people right does it say anything in here where it's listed in terms of copyright claims I don't see anything right there's the creator studio that's 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 the one that we normally work with but they're changing their format okay here it says I have 27 views all right but look what's happened now. Zero likes. Is it because it was copyrighted? Is is that what YouTube is doing? Is, is it because it was copyrighted and they took away the likes for whatever reason? Right? I'm just looking for my mouse. Because clearly you can see there's 15 comments right it says comments right here 15 comments right views 27 views zero likes but if you go like that you can see you have two thumbs down but if you go over here here this is the old studio classic so what we're gonna do here's the video I'm at 26 views here. We're going to go in, this, and you have to double click more times to get to what you want versus the old school way. Okay, we've got this one, the five thumbs up for YouTube, right, for not making my life too stressed out here, although they're stressing me out right now. We're going to go into comments. This is what they're changing their format to. You can see. We're going to go into videos. Alright. We're still sitting. There, there it is right there. Where is it? Here it is. Still sitting there. Okay. Still at 27 views. Still has 15 comments. But it's coming up with zero likes. And when I go like this, it tells me I only I have two thumbs down and zero likes. If I go into Creator Studio, which I prefer because the fonts are darker for one thing, it gives you the full title for the other reason, which I like. See so there it is. You see, you get the full title. Do you see how you get the full title, which I like for when I go back into my 
1783 videos, I find that if I have the full title, it's easier for me to find ones, especially if I'm going back into 2012, 11, 13, 14, that type of thing. Now we're going to go here. If I want to click on this, the old Studio Classic allows me to go right up into the copyright. But if you notice, I've got two thumbs down. And they've removed all the likes, or whoever liked them, removed them themselves. Because you're capable of doing that, I think. I think you can come in, like somebody's page, and then come back and unlike it. I think you can do that. I don't do a lot of likes, people. That's not something that I normally do, right? But clearly, you can see, I'm being gaslighted here. Now, the thing about, again, the classic studio... I can go into here, or I can simply go into here, people. I can click on that. We have to wait. There we go. There it is right there. This is my copyright notices. Do you see? Right? Here is the one with includes copyrighted content. I've already walked you through it. It shows that it has no thumbs up, two thumbs down, right? And then it shows you all the other videos where I have copyrighted material over the years. 19, 18, it goes all the way. Look how many pages I've got here, people. Let's go to the very end. 2009, Playground Restoration, blocked worldwide, remember I told you, some, some of them have been muted, it only has 22 views, it's actually, a, you know, there's one of them in there that's a very good video, three comments, probably me bitching on about whatever, if we go into the fifth row, Do you see how easy and fluent and you get the you get the full you get the full title, right? Includes copyright. There's not a lot of views on it, but that's okay. Right? And then there we go again. Blocked worldwide. Now this one here, this video is a really inspiring, happy, go lucky, let's get motivated and work on playground restoration type video. But they blocked it. They took out, they took out the volume. They muted it, people. That's what they did. They muted it on their own. You can't hear nothing. All you see is a bunch of feet. But if you were to hear the sound in the background, you would hear people laughing and joking and just being so gung-ho about the painting process in terms of restoring the, the playground. Right? In terms of, the, 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 we had Home Depot come in. We had Home Depot come in, people. You can see. Right? I was DJing with my equipment. I fed, I, fed, I fed the Home Depot staff. I fed the courtyard volunteers. And this video really showed the inspiration about all of it. You can see they're painting the feet. And, they're, they're, you know, they're putting in little footprints for the kids. But for whatever reason, it's been blocked worldwide. We can go into it. Do you see how easy this is? Why they're changing their format, I don't know. Now, I can simply remove the song, but I don't want to because I'm not trying to rewrite history. I could file a dispute. I don't think I did, maybe on this one, or maybe I did. I don't know. Um, this is, this is, this is a World Music Group. Right, blocked in all countries on behalf of this particular. This is why we need, sorry, people, a universal music license. Right, it's obviously just the one song that took away the fun of playground restoration that benefited children from Tasnesia that came in as refugees 
who lived with a hundred thousand other refugees up in the freaking desert and got a jug of milk once a week that was sour in order to eat. Do I blame YouTube or do I blame this particular organization? I don't know, people. I just know that when it comes time to contact YouTube, all these... I'm yelling because I get stressed out. All these claims, right, are... um. What do you call it? They're all going in at one time. I don't know how many is there is, but there's six pages. Now, look, I'm going to point this out. If this is copyrighted and it still plays, why is the one thumb up showing? Okay? Right? I had a one thumb up there until they blocked it. Because this video actually ran for a while. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, YouTube decided to block it. Or the, whoever represents that particular song that was playing in the background. Okay? So let's see what else we got here. Right? You can see. I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out. Right? See, the thumb, the thumbs up are coming in. Look at this one. This one's got four thumbs up, two thumbs down. Occupy Vancouver, one out of five. In 2011, people. Right? Here's another one. Three thumbs up from 2009. Two thumbs up from 2009. We'll go on to page three now. This takes the fun out of being a community activist, trying to bring in programs to help the community, because as soon as you try and help the community, you've got people out there that just want to shut you down. Lost footage, one thumbs down, 169 views, right? Holly Park, back online, 2012, right, right, 106 views, one thumb up, and so on and so on. I've only seen two, two worldwide blocks. I thought there was three. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they released one. I don't think so. I think there's three people. we got to go into page two. I'm not rushing with my day because this stresses me out and it makes me very depressed. It really does because I don't understand why I'm being picked on. Now, one of these, okay, I did two videos in October of 2014 with the kids and that little party. We got 228 views there. It clearly shows four thumbs down, two thumbs up. Did we miss it over here? Because I think the other one has, because there's two of them. Because one they blocked. One they blocked people. They muted it. So the one that plays on my channel, right, when you go to my channel and it's playing on my channel, I don't know if that one is copyrighted or if they just completely released it all together. Um, at one point, one was completely blocked and you couldn't hear anything. All you could do was see was kids running around in the background dancing, but you couldn't hear nothing. And then, of course, you know, blah, blah, I did whatever I did, and then they released it. And then I thanked YouTube for it. But the point is, you can see the two thumbs up, the four thumbs down, right? The thumbs up are showing here, people. There's, so there's no reason for them not to be showing it's lagging for whatever reason did it switch? yeah for whatever reason with the new video there it is, where is it? there's my mouse with the new video that got copyrighted today the four the four thumbs up that I had on it have been removed, but the two thumbs down are still there. However, 
This is, where is the first one? Where are we? There it is. Okay, can you see? This is when I was doing my video earlier on today. Okay, and I posted that I got two thumbs down within 18 views. You read these comments, I make a note of that. I got two thumbs down within the first 18 views. It clearly shows I also got four thumbs up. But if I refresh the page, which I'm going to do right now, they will disappear. What happened to them, people? Did four people thumbs it up? And then four people came back in later and removed them? Is that another form of gaslighting so that... I just give up on the nonprofit, so I just accept the fact that my grandson is on the chopping block and I have no say as to how he is to be treated in the next 43 years of his life before he dies based on a 45 year life expectancy. Do I, do I just stay silent on what happened to Shimei and pretend that it never existed because um, obviously something is happening. Something is happening, people. Right? I just wanted to point that out. So I thought, okay, now, before I end this video, if I go through, this is the, 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 the classics. Now, you're not going to get those four thumbs up anymore because they've been wiped out. For whatever reason, they have been wiped out. Although I've shown you, if you go into copyright notices through the old classic, if there is a thumbs up in there, it would continue to show. But for whatever reason, YouTube or the people who thumbed it up took it away. Now why? Why did they take it away, people? Right? Is it because I'm talking about mandatory MRIs? Or is I'm talking about empowering people through a message board where maybe they can make a little bit of money and create a fucking industry. Which one is it? Is it both? Is it because I sound too confident when I make these videos? Right? Because by being confident inspires other people to be confident? Right? Like, what is it? What is it? Because this is the same shit that I've been dealing with Forever, ever since I started the nonprofit, right? That's like going to set up a park event. You're out there wanting to do a park event. Okay, next year you want to do a park event. You find out you have to license it and go through the city and put in an application and get a food safe certificate and you have to pr provide security and, you know, and all this other shit. So you do all that shit and then, you you know, you, you, you're a poor person and you continue to do all that crap every year. The only thing is, you know... The city now has put you off into the corner, has given you a, a park event day where, you know, the community itself has absolutely no money so that when you come in with your pop, candy, freezies, and chips and hot dogs, you basically give it away to the poor children in the park that live around the complexes in dire poverty and because the park wasn't booked in around family allowance day, you know, the benefit family benefit pack, you know, the payments, right? You got all these little children running around hot and hungry, and you've got all this food popping hot dogs or whatever you're feeding them, and chips and what, and you just end up giving it away, people, because they're children. And then you find out the week after who comes in when it's money. Who comes in when there's money? When the family allowance comes in and the parents have a few dollars that they can give to their kids to go to the same fucking park that you were doing the event in the week prior as a little prelude to the bigger park so that the city can come in with all of a sudden all their flags because some mayor decided that she had a great 
grand idea to uh, bring everybody together under all these fucking flags, even though you've been in that park for the last five years trying to promote that concept without the city freaking helping you. If anything, the city was making it harder for you because they kept tacking on more this and more you have to do this and, you know, there's this code and there's that freaking agreement and license and you got to have this and if you want to have liquor, you got to have this and, you know, and just, just, just fuck, man. To go there and give it all away because you're dealing with children, poor children. So the city can come in the following week with its freaking overinflated budget and sell the same candy, hot dogs, bags of chips and freaking pop to those kids because it's family allowance and the parents happen to be able to give them $5 each. So the city makes money, but you don't. Right? This same kind of shit, people. Like, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I am trying to do something good here. I am trying to remove myself from my daughter's nightmare. I am trying to remove myself from Uncle John's nightmare. I am trying to remove myself from Amari and the rest of my family's nightmare. nightmare. And I'm trying to stay true to the foundation. And YouTube, somebody, somebody in YouTube, somebody, I wouldn't say YouTube, but some staff member is screwing around for whatever fucking morbid reason I'll never understand it people and this is why I don't go anywhere in life this is why I continue to go down and down and down because there are a lot of people who does this shit that's right Amari you tell them I'm trying to build up programs for children as the people that can actually help make a difference are tearing down those very programs that I'm trying to initiate. For what purpose other than so they can come in and capitalize off of your fucking idea later on the dial the line, bring in their own message board, is that it? Bring in your own message board, just skirt everything that I've done, right? Like the city? Because that's what the city was doing. They let me go out there, you know, wave my fucking flags around. I was, I got videos of me waving all kinds of fucking flags around. City and the mayor noticed that. Next thing you know, she comes in with the fusion festival. And, you know, because she's got a budget, taxpayers' budget, she turned her little park event into the, in, in, into the, into the thing to do. And she made sure that uh, when they put it on, it was around family allowance time or any time when the poor community would have asset to a small little income so they could go spend their money at their park event, the city's park event, the city's park event, not the ones that are in the trenches trying to, like, eke out something, right? To, to, right? There were no park events from the city until I showed up, people, with my flags. Oh, it's the same kind of crap. I don't care about the four thumbs up. What I don't like is the gaslighting around it, people. Right? And this is why I tell this board director, I'm done being a president. I am so freaking done. I moved all the books downstairs. I'm waiting for him to come pick up the fucking suitcase. I'm not even asking for those, what do you call those things? Certificates that were documented in November 13th of 19, uh, 2001 when it relates to the foundation. I don't want them back because I'm too stressed out with just being gaslighted and, you know, always having that hammer on that coffin trying to hammer me in, hammer me in, hammer me in, hammer me in that I can't stand it anymore. So I try and stay true and I'm not going to sugarcoat what Fraser Health Authority did to my family. Not to mention CIBC Bank. And I'm not going to sugarcoat what Amari has up against him for the next 43 years of his life as my remaining family have to stand by him and fight those fucking demons. Okay? Because there's a whole lot of demons around me. Right? Only demons do what they did to Uncle John, what they did to Shemay, and it's still up for debate with Amari. 
Amari's MRI is November 21st. That's when he actually gets the MRI. And to be honest with you, I'm glad that I put that video up because the, one of the YouTube members to this channel pointed out to me that there are two different kinds of MRIs. I didn't know that, people, because these doctors, they don't give us the full information. They just say, jump when we say jump. Do as we say do, okay? And if you don't do it, we're calling in the pack, right? We know how it works. Agenda fucking 30. It started off with Agenda 21. Now it's going into Agenda 30. It's the UN initiative to take over the freaking planet and make everybody back to being a slave, basically. Don't breathe unless we tell you to breathe. Tuesday is going to see the brain doctor. Is he the one that interprets the uh, MRI when the MRI is done on the 21st? I don't know. I would think so. Okay? But nobody informed me that there were two separate MRIs, with one of them being potentially more dangerous than your standard MRI. Not to mention... He's just playing. Right? Not to mention... Not to mention... <laughs> <coughs> Not to mention when they're purposely trying to botch the shit up. To piss you off so they can write it in their files that you uh, said fuck. Because they were going in and out of the MRI <coughs> screening room, slamming the big heavy door that's like this with pens and belt buckles. I thought you're not supposed to go into an MRI room with any kind of metal. But when I was sitting here watching these technicians going in and out, going in and out, going in and out, in and out with door slamming, them you know, talking three at a time, in and out, making all this fucking noise. And I'm watching this shit. It was like a circus show, people. I'm watching. And I'm like, well, this guy has a pen in his hand. This guy obviously has a belt buckle that looks like it's got metal on it. How is it they're capable of going into this machine area with all this metal when you're being told that you can't do it? Like, I, didn't, I, I couldn't figure it out. But they purposely went out of their way for 15 minutes to make all this freaking noise so that by the time they finally did get it running with no interruptions, because they'd get it running, they'd stop it, they were going in and out, in and out, in and out, making all this fucking noise. By that time, I got up on the chair, I, I'm like wanting to look, right? And they're like, what are you doing? You're not supposed to be... I'm just standing here looking like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, you're being rude. I'm like, I'm not being rude. Yeah, you swore. I said, I didn't fucking... Well, I didn't say fucking, but I said, I didn't swear. Oh, yeah, well, you know, uh, go sit down. So I sat down. Next thing you know, I hear my grandson screaming, crying. So I'm like, right? And it's through that big muffled door. So he was screaming at the top of his lungs, people. And because he woke up, they had to stop whatever it was that they were doing. <laughs> you know? And now I'm being told that there are actually two kinds of MRIs and that I should question what type of MRI my grandson is going to be facing on November 21st to protect him to protect him people these doctors come from different countries to get paid to make money first before they serve the public because if they were about serving the public people they would stay in their own countries and serve their own people but they can't do that because they don't make enough money so they come to Canada to milk the health care system and the taxpayers to build wealth for themselves so they can live in these monster houses that are popping up like freaking flies around here and boss you around like you have no human rights. You can give me a hundred thumbs down and it wouldn't change the fact. Those facts. It would not change those facts. It's the fact that I'm being gaslighted. That's what pisses me off. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, in this new new stuff that they're doing for these are all the old ones. Okay, so we know that four people took out took out their uh, what do you call it? Four people took out their thumbs 
thumbs up. So the two trolls infected the four, four people that seen something of value in that video. I have a copyright claim on it. Well, we know why. But I can't, I can't access it. How am I supposed to access it? Where is my list of copyrights? Do you see? I don't see it. How do I access my copyrights? How? How do I access them? If I go into Creator Studio, I can access them. Other features. What do we got? Nothing in there shows copyright. Monetize. I told you, I'll never monetize this channel. Comments. Well, we already know. Right? Okay? Video. Analytics. Go into video. Clearly it shows the likes have been removed. But if you really want to take a boo, you can be reminded that you got two thumbs down because of two things. One, you were trying to protect your grant you're trying to protect your grandson, right? By telling the truth of what's been going on with your family, right? In terms of just all of it. And two, you're trying to do something positive for the general community, for the outer community, away from you. Right? And there's just people out there that don't want that to happen. Because they want to be the ones to come in with their flags. Uh? Right? When people have money in the community, even though they're dirt poor. And put on the best festival so they can get the most hot dog sales. And then put it in with the city budget. And then ask you to come back next year and do your little park event. You pay for it. You follow all the rules that the city wants you to do in terms of licensing and food safe and just the whole nine yards. Generators and security and, you know, and blah and blah and blah and it just gets bigger and more complicated. And unless you, you know, you, unless you've got a whole people backing you up. You know, just a sitting duck. And then come home and upload that event onto YouTube to get this shit. And then be asked and it, or be told you're still not doing enough, people. You're still not doing enough. You don't measure up to whoever comes in and does this shit. As if they're in control of the world. Right?